If you're playing Mega Man X Dive, here are 10 tips that will help you progress through the game. Starting with number 1, 5 star your B-Rank characters. Even if you are not currently using these B-Rank characters, when you 5 star them, it's gonna boost your overall power, so get to it. Number 2, Armor for Zenny. If you're in desperate need of Zenny, all you'll have to do is make armor out of normal screws and then just sell them. Truly an easy way to get massive amounts of Zenny. Number 3, Sell Unused Memories. If you've already 5 starred some weapons and some characters, you will have some memories that you can sell, although I do recommend holding on to characters for DNA purposes. Your weapons, go ahead, go ham. If you already 5 starred that biochem, sell the remainder of that or even your sniper buster or whatever it is. This in turn will help you get more patches to help level up even more. Number 4, Boss Challenge. Make sure that you're doing your boss challenges as they give you memories for chips. With these chips, you're going to want to analyze and level them up as soon as possible to get that overall power up as well. And they also provide your weapons some awesome abilities, so don't sleep on them. Number 5, Buy Cards. By doing both weekly co-op challenges as well as your arena PvP, these are the best ways to get tokens which can help you buy character-specific cards. So if you want more in-depth guides on cards as well as weapons and anything Mega Man X Dive, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Number 6, Pizza Slice. Also known as Dash Slash or Melee Dash, when you have a melee weapon equipped, you can just keep spamming that dash button and get yourself into that pizza slice motion. When you get a hateful message saying you're cheating, you know you've done it right. Hope it doesn't happen to you, but it's happened to me before. Number 7, Weapon Switch. In Mega Man X Dive, you are going to have some weapons that have longer reload times. So if you're running, let's say, two guns at the same time, let's say Sniper Buster and a Machine Gun, Sniper Buster takes a little bit of time to reload. So in the motion that it's reloading, you are switching to a weapon that can consistently drop DPS and then switch right back when the reload is done. This is the best way to utilize getting the most attack out of your weapons. Number 8, Dash Characters. There are a lot of characters in this game that have a dash, Black Zero being one of them, Marino being another. Having your go-to character for when it comes to anything that requires a dash, whether it's level completion, challenge and races, or when they have those special events where you can race, you're gonna wanna have one up your sleeve at all times. The faster you can get some of these challenges done, the better your score will be. Number 9, pull your characters. Now what I mean by that is that there will be times where you'll have enough memories to unlock a character, but rather than unlock them, just save the memories. For instance, I have not unlocked Bit yet, he is an A rank character. I have many opportunities at pulling Bit, so I am not gonna unlock him. By waiting to pull this character, I already have enough memories to get him to the first star. But if I unlock him and then pull him later, I'll only get half the amount of memories, so this is the best way to utilize your memory resources. Unless you really want your character, then just unlock him and start playing the game. Number 10, MP Grind. Now there's two ways of leveling up your weapons in Mega Man X Dive, and that is through MP Grinding, as well as getting weapon profs. Now with weapon profs, you can use them on any weapons. With MP, it's solely specific to whatever weapon you have when you complete a stage. My favorite stage to do this is 3-3. You load up into game, you shoot the boss, collect your MP. On some days, you're gonna get double MP, which means it's 80 MP per clear. And doing a little test with all the animations, it took me roughly 20 minutes to get through all 180 energy that I had and I want to say I roughly grinded around 1840 MP. Now there's also opportunity to do this on the boss stages as when they do have double you're getting 160 MP per boss clear. Those are 10 expert tips I've given you today guys. Make sure to hit that like button before you go and do subscribe to see more Mega Man X Dive content. See you in the next video.